Hey, welcome back, guys. Thanks for stopping by, spending a little time with me tonight um, or today or whatever, whenever you're watching this video. It happens to be Sunday night for me right now as I'm recording, and I'm kind of in chill mode right now, getting ready for the grind tomorrow back at work. Um, weekends always go so fast. But this is going to be part two of some of the things I picked up over the last few days last week. I got some Blu-rays, DVDs, and VHS tapes that I'm going to show you guys. I got a little stack of stuff I picked up at Best Buy. I got some stuff that I ordered from Amazon. Um, and I did take advantage of that Twilight Time sale that's going on for the entire month of March. So if you guys haven't yet, stop over at either Screen Archives or TwilightTime.com and take advantage of that sale. They have some really good, really good sales going on right now. Some of them are 50% off. Some are even 75% off. You can get some Blu-rays over there for like eight bucks, nine bucks. Um, the majority of the stuff is marked like at least half down. Um, I got some good stuff I'll show you guys. And then I do have a package that I got from a fellow YouTuber that we did a trade. So I'm going to do that last. So make sure you stick around and check that out. And the first item I have here is the Drive-In Massacre. And this is the signed edition. This was put out by Severin Films. Um, I didn't realize I was getting the signed edition, but it says Action Stu Seagal, who was the director of the film. And I think what happens with Severin is you have to read the description carefully before you place an order because they do get, from time to time, they get stuff signed. And I think if you don't want something signed, you have to specify that. Otherwise, if you order it, they'll send you the signed edition, which to me, it doesn't matter because I would have chosen to get the signed edition because I do love signatures. But I do realize, too, that some people don't like their stuff all signed up, but I do. But So just uh, keep an eye on that. Um, this is a sleazy 70s slasher classic restored and remastered for the first time ever. Although this is a double dip for me and 88 Films put this out about a year ago or less. Um, and they did one hell of a job. So this is not quite true that it's restored and remastered for the first time, maybe in the U.S., but um, 88 Films got to that first. But uh, Special features, you have audio commentary with director Stu Seagal, and you have Drive-In Days, interview with star co-writer Jeff F. Goff, and you have a Norm Sheridan Recalls Drive-In Massacre, and you have Making the Massacre, interview with director Stu Seagal, as well as a trailer and this is All Region, ABC. And it is a horror film from 1976. Good slasher. And it does have reversible, there's the disc art, it has reversible cover. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad to pick that up and double dip on that one. I don't mind double dipping on that at all. And the next little stack here I'll show you guys are some titles I picked up from Roger Corman. And I'll show you, I got one Blu-ray and two DVDs. And the first one here is Star Crash. And it says that this is the two disc special edition with massive extras. And it has uh, quite a bit of stuff here. It has deleted scenes, interviews with Caroline Monroe and director Luigi Cozy rare photos, behind-the-scenes footage, and more, featuring David Hasselhoff in his first, one of his first starring roles. And this was one I never owned. I never had the DVD, and I just now got the Blu-ray of it. So I'm glad to pick this up. There's been rumors going around for about a year now that people were thinking that these were going to go out of print. And I'm sure at some point they will, so I wanted to go ahead and grab this now while it was still pretty low. I got this on Amazon. It was about Anywhere from, I think it was 15 to 17, I can't remember. But this is the Blu-ray DVD combo, anamorphic widescreen, um, Region A, put out by Shout Factory. So I'm glad to finally have that in the collection. And the next two are the Roger Corman's Cult Classics All Night Marathon. This is the two-disc special edition of Vampires, Mummies, and Monsters. And you collectors out there already know that Time Walker and the Velvet Vampire have been released in a limited quantity by Shout Factory, Scream Factory. I believe they were limited to 1,000 and they're pretty much all sold out now I think. These were the last two that were available. I'm sure by now they're gone. 
Um, but I wanted to get this set because it has Lady Frankenstein and Grotesque, and I just wanted to collect these, and this was pretty cheap. I think it was under 10 bucks for a brand new sealed DVD. <clears throat> so I thought I'd put it in the collection. And you, uh, these are all, let me see, not all, but... Okay, Lady Frankenstein is an anamorphic widescreen. Time Walker is an anamorphic widescreen, and the Lady or the Velvet Vampire is anamorphic widescreen. But grotesque is full frame, I believe. Yeah. So um, let's see what else. Uh, Velvet Vampire was released 1971. Lady Frankenstein 1972. Grotesque 1988 and Time Walker 1982. So this is a nice little addition. I like the way that they kind of show the retro covers here on the front. Nice little collectible. So thought I'd pick that up for less than 10 bucks. And the last one I picked up from Amazon. This is the Roger Corman Cult Classics All Night Marathon of Sword and Sorcery Collection. And again Death Stalker was released in 1000. That, that was the first one to sell out, and that's going for some pretty crazy money now. So if you did miss out on that one, I'm sorry to tell you that you're probably going to have to pay an arm and a leg to, to pick that one up if you do decide to get it. Um, it also has Death Stalker 2, Barbarian Queen, and The Warrior and the Sorceress, which, to the best of my knowledge, none of these three have been released on Blu-ray, at least in the U.S., that I know of. But I wanted to pick that up. These covers are really nice. These sword and sandal type films from like the 70s and 80s were, were just really nice on the cover art like that. So I'm glad to add this into the collection. And this was under 10 bucks as well. So you got Death Stalker came out in 83. Death Stalker 2 came out in 87. Barbarian Queen 85. And The Warrior and the Sorceress came out in 84. And you can see a young David Carradine right there. And uh, these are fun films. And it looks like all four of these films are in anamorphic widescreen for those of you who are interested in that. Uh, let's see, the next little pile here I'll pull from the Best Buy stuff that I picked up. A few weeks ago I showed you guys some of the stuff I picked up. It was around Valentine's Day. They had a little end display at my local Best Buy. And it was like... Uh, horror movies in a, like a valentine end display and they had a lot of the not a lot but they had like maybe a handful of the monster mayhem and all that they had at that time was dvds i went to my local best buy this past weekend and they had a bunch of blu-rays now with the monster mayhem logo and i picked up everything that they had um if you guys watch this and if you see anything that I didn't get or maybe, maybe it wasn't at my local best buy comment below let me know i'll take a look for that but this first one here is the Clash of the Titans remake. This is the one that came out in 2010. And um, I think these are pretty cool. And it does have the original Blu-ray inside. And then it has that Monster Mayhem kind of that art. It's like a, kind of like a uh, an artsy type <laughs> cover. I don't really know how else to describe it. But um, these were, I think these were $7.99 a piece. So... I thought that was a heck of a deal, so I grabbed it. And I got a couple more here. I got Queen of the Damned, starring Aaliyah. And some of these are a little tight. But there you can see that is the original cover. And then there's the, I guess, newly commissioned or whatever you want to call it. They also had Pacific Rim. And believe it or not, I've never seen this film before. I've never even really heard reviews about it. I know it's been out for a long time, but this is probably something I would check out. and I, I think I would enjoy this. A popcorn flick. Just get a big bowl of popcorn, a big soda, sit back and watch the, the fun. It seems like it's a fun film. So there, there are some uh, bonus features and stuff. I'm not going to get into all that, though. I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I got here, and then I'll keep moving on. The next one here is the Boris Karloff Mummy, I believe. This is the original. Um, Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee. Uh, the 1959 Mummy. This is uh, unrated. 
Okay, Christopher Lee is the mummy in this one. So for you know for seven dollars ninety nine cents for some of these movies with these nice slip covers, that's that's very reasonable. I think that's um, a very fair price for something like this. And the last, no, there's two here. Um, the next one here is King Kong. And I believe this is the original. It is from thirty three, I believe. The eighth wonder of the world is presented in its nineteen thirty three entirety and includes scenes that were origi originally considered too shocking for the 1938 to 1956 audience releases, I guess. So I thought that's pretty cool to get that. I like that cover. Almost has like a retro feel to it. And then the last one here is Godzilla, Gojira. And... I wasn't sure which one this was. I haven't even really looked at these yet. It looks like it's the 2014 Godzilla. So I would have liked it better if it was the original Godzilla, but still it's cool. For $7.99, it's not bad. So those are the Monster Mayhem titles I picked up at my local Best Buy. Sorry about that, guys. I got cut off for a second. But here is what the overview looks like of all six titles of the Monster Mayhem. And that's the back. So I think those are pretty cool. I'm glad to have those in the collection. Okay, so now I'm going to get into some of the animated stuff that I picked up over the past week. The first three I got at Best Buy, and they were again these were very cheap. I think they were six ninety nine a piece, and one was seven ninety nine. And I'll show you that one. Let me see. Uh, the first one here was seven dollars ninety nine cents, and this is a three movie set of the Ultimate Avengers animated cartoons or whatever. It has the Ultimate Avengers, Ultimate Avengers two, and it comes with a special bonus called Next Avengers Heroes of Tomorrow featuring Ultron. So this is a really nice little addition. For $7.99, I love it. Um, it's all region, ABC. It is in widescreen. And the first two Ultimate Avengers are rated PG-13, and the next Avengers is rated PG. For $7.99, for three movies, I'm all in on that every time. The next two were $6.99, and that is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Thor, Tales of Asgard, Before the Hammer Came the Sword, $6.99, you get the complete series, and it is region A, again this was put out by Lionsgate though, um, I'm surprised it's not region free, and I'm looking for a running time, a complete running time, it uh, says running time 70, 77 minutes, and this came out in 2009. And the third title I picked up from Best Buy Animated was the Blu-ray and Digital HD of Doctor Strange. I did go there to my local Best Buy looking for the Doctor Strange Steelbook um, that came out last Tuesday. I went on Saturday and I knew it wasn't going to be there. It was long gone by then, but I thought I'd pick this up just in case, or just because, because... Um, now that I've missed out on the Doctor Strange Steelbook, I probably won't... I'm, I mean, I'm not really that huge of a live-action superhero movies. I'm not that big of a fan of them. And certainly for the price that they're going to be going for, I'm not going to touch that. So if I would have saw one there for the regular price, I would have picked it up just for collectible purposes. But I'm not going to go searching high and low for it now. And uh, this one's Region A. And what does the running time say on this one? 95 minutes. This one also came out in 2007. So for $6.99... I thought that was a good deal. And there's the overview of those three. And there's the back. So moving on, we continue with more some more animation. I got another Hanna-Barbera box set, I guess. Um, if that's what you want to call it. But this is the Hanna-Barbera Classic Collection Chuck Norris Karate Commandos. The complete series. 
This came out in the 80s, I believe. Um, 110 minutes, full screen. And there's really not a whole lot to say about this. There's no special features. It just talks about the episodes. So I just thought I would add that to the Hanna-Barbera collection, Chuck Norris Karate Commandos. The next one I'm really looking forward to, I got this on Amazon. I think it was like around five bucks. This is the Max Fleischer's Superman from 1941 and 42. Right at the start of the World War II. And it has 17 theatrical shorts on two discs. And it says it's the authorized edition from the original Masters. So really looking forward to checking this out. This was... I remember seeing you know, bits and pieces of these when I was a kid. They would play them on Saturday mornings. And it does have some special features. It has the first flight, the Fleischer Superman series. The originals uh, and influence of this groundbreaking cartoon series. It has the man, the myth, Superman, exploring the tradition of Superman, superhero, superhuman heroes, and the page and screen. And it has exclusive sneak peek at DC Universe's upcoming animated feature, Green Lantern. But this was has been out for a while, so... The uh, running time is 145 minutes. I'm trying to see when this was released on DVD. But I'm not seeing that, so I believe this has been out for probably... 8 years or more, I would say, maybe? I, I don't remember when Green Lantern came out on the big screen. It's been a while, though, I know that, but... And the last two that I picked up on Amazon are is probably my favorite modern day cartoon, even though it's not on the air anymore. But this is Courage the Cowardly Dog, and this is season three, which I already do have season one and two, and I have season three, all 13 episodes, created by John Dilworth. And these are great. These are really good. This is um, brought in uh, widescreen, so that's a plus. 296 minutes, that is season 3, and then I also have season 4 here. And that's all the seasons that they put out for Courage. There was rumors going around, there were rumors going around that they were going to pick up the season again at some point. Pick up the series, I should say. And it seems like they're not going to do it anymore, so it's kind of a bummer. And this is another 13 episodes for season 4. Really good show. And I think we'll get into the VHS that I picked up. There's only two of those, and I'll get into the Twilight Time releases, and then I'll go through the box that was sent to me by a fellow YouTuber, and then we'll wrap it up. So the first one I got here is one of the latest releases from Sub Rosa Studios, and that is called Night of Something Strange. And check out that cover. Comes in that nice black clamshell. This was limited to number to uh, 30 pieces. And guess what number I got? Ron Bonk sent me number one. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom. It says one of 30. Only 30 of these were made. He gave me number one, so I'm very happy about that. I know to most of you guys out there, numbers don't mean anything, but I love numbered stuff. I love signed stuff. I love limited editions. All that kind of stuff is, is a collector's dream for me. So Jeff Wedding sent me number one of his one of his films, too. I thought that was really cool. So there's what the VHS looks like. Night of Something Strange. And the last one I picked up was the original Friday the 13th cover. And those of you who watch my channel know that I made a trade with no one a couple weeks ago. Um, who, who is Derek? So thanks again for that, Derek. He sent me the first... Um, Friday the 13th, and I guess I did a little research, and the one that he sent me was a little more rare than normal. This is the original Friday the 13th, Part 1. The one that he sent me, I'll, I'll pause the video at the end, and I'll bring those out and show you guys, but uh, they call it his the shadow figure, I think, or something with the shadow, shadow box, and it just kind of shows like a silhouette of Jason, and I think that one's a little more rare than this one. But I got this one sealed, brand new. And the ones that Derek sent me were pristine. I mean, they were as mint as mint can get. And I ended up picking up some of these VHS cases to, to protect them. And I 
put all of Derek's VHS in these. Now I'm going to put this one in and kind of show you guys how it works and what it looks like. It just slides in on the bottom. And then it kind of preserves these nice movies. You can put them on your shelves. I mean, you can still see. It's really nice. And I put all the ones that Derek sent to me in these cases already because his were beautiful. They were really nice. I want to keep them, preserve them that way. And so these are all going to go on the shelves in these plastic containers like this. And at the very end of this video, I'll pause it and I'll put all of Derek's VHS tapes here and then you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to pause it here though, guys, and go get a drink. I'm getting cotton mouth right now. So hold on. Okay, we're back and we're rolling. So let's get into the Twilight Time stuff that I told you guys about. They're having a sale. And it's it's like 50% off certain titles. Not all titles because a lot of their newer stuff that came out like recently or within the last year or so. A lot of that stuff is still full price. But I did get some gems. And the first one I picked up was The Hound of the Baskervilles. This is They're all limited to 3,000. And this is a, a werewolf type film. And it does have some special features. And these Twilight Time releases are really nice. And they're usually about 30 bucks a pop. They're rate, you know, they're rate competitive with uh, Criterion as far as price goes and quality for that matter. But when you can get Criterion for 50% off and you can get Twilight Time for 50% off, you may as well hit it pretty hard because that's the best time to pick these up. Um his audio commentary with film historians David Duvall and Stephen Peros. Um, I'm not going to go through all the special features with the, for all these because I'm getting up to, I think we're over 20 minutes now. But this is a film from 1959, and this, this was released in 2016. So this is kind of one of their newer releases, and it was 50% off. But not all are 50% off. Let's see here, the next one. This one is a double dip for me. This is Clint Eastwood, um, Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. And this is called the Encore Edition because they did have the original release, which sold out. And now that's out of print, and I do have that first one. So then they went back and they changed the cover and they re-released it, calling it the Encore Edition. And I think this is going to sell out pretty soon. So I picked up one of these for myself, and then I also picked up one for my friend Carlos. He wants that for his next trade package. This is a film from 1974, and keep moving on. The next one here is kind of a family movie. I watched this with the kids. Francis Ford Coppola presents The Black Stallion Returns. I love that cover. That looks really good. And then from Criterion, they had a flash sale last week, one day only. It was a 24-hour flash sale. And they had everything 50% off, and I ordered the original Black Stallion from Criterion. Now I have the return, the Black Stallion returns from Twilight Time. So one of these weekends, the kids and I will pop these in and have a little family fun time. This one came out in 1983. Let's see here. The next one is Rollerball, starring James Caan. This one also has an Arrow video release, and I was going to pick that one up, but I figured for 50% off, I'll grab it here. It just doesn't seem right to me when, when I see James Caan trying to play like a, you know, he tries to play a tough guy or an athlete. Um, you know, he was a tough guy in the uh, the Godfather series. And it just didn't seem like it fit to me. I, I don't know. When I see him in there, it almost looks comical with that helmet on and shoulder pads. I, he doesn't seem intimidating at all. He was a great actor, though. He still is a good actor. I don't know if he's acted in anything recently, but I thought he was excellent in The Thief. If you guys have never seen The Thief with um, James Caan, check that out. But looking forward to checking this one out. This is a film from 1975, Rollerball. And I got a couple of Bronson titles. These are double dips for me because at some point I'm going to trade these or flip them, sell them. Because the Charles Bronson films always sell very well on Blu-ray. And since these are limited to 3,000, I think when I picked this one up, they said they were down to 40 copies. So I'm sure by now it's probably sold out. But this is Bronson, Charles Bronson, 10 to, mid 10 to Midnight. <laughs> 
And it's a decent little film from 1983. Slasher serial killer film. It's okay. It's middle of the road. Maybe a little bit better than middle of the road. I'd say maybe six, six and a half out of ten. I'm not really a critic or anything, so that's just my opinion. But And the next Charles Bronson is Murphy's Law. And this one, again, was kind of middle. Five, five and a half out of ten. says this is the sixth collaboration between Charles Bronson and director J. Lee Thompson. And 100 minutes, these are all limited to 3,000. I don't have to keep saying that, but these are usually pretty good sellers. I'm surprised that they had those on sale. And the last one here is a movie I've never seen before. And you can see this one has a blue case because when Twilight Time first started selling Blu-rays, they had that blue case. So you know this one's old and it's been kicking around for a while. I think this one was eight bucks, seven ninety five or eight ninety five, something like that. And uh, Martin Sheen is in the film, and so is uh, Robert Loja. John Schlesinger from Midnight Cowboy and Marathon Man was the director. Calls it a supernatural film. Looking forward to checking this out. If anybody has seen this one, let me know. This one's been kicking around on Twilight Times website for a long time, and they're, I know they're probably just getting ready to get rid of it. So if you go over to their website, you can probably get this for it's either eight or nine bucks, whatever it is. I'm gonna pause it for a second. Okay, we're just under 27 minutes, and I have one more thing to show you guys. Actually, two, because I'm gonna pause it at the end and show you the VHS tapes, but that's only gonna take a second, but. This is a trade package that I got from one of my buddies on here. It goes by a couple different channel names. So let's see what his note says before I give any names away. So I'm not sure which character sent this to me. He's got a couple different characters that he plays on his channel. He's pretty funny. He's got kind of a dark, sick, sick twisted sense of humor, but I like it. So it says, what's in the box? You get one, or number one is three PS4 games which was, that was our deal. Um, so anything beyond that is something he's throwing in because I sent him a box set of uh, Blu-ray anime and then a Blu-ray Western with uh, Burt Reynolds. And he was supposed to send me back three PS4 games. So thanks, Alex. I mean, anything more than that is above and beyond. So I appreciate that. He sent one movie. He has one Biloxi Shuckers baseball, one postcard from Movie Slob, who is one of his characters. It's inside the Dark Souls case. And one Ghostbusters sticker. So very cool. Thanks for everything, Todd. Enjoy the goodies. And this is one of his channel names right here. Frenzy Pooh. He also goes by the Movie Slob. And I think he has another movie or, or a channel or two. So let's see what games he sent to me. Lots of protection and bubble wrap, which I always appreciate that when people, you can never have too much bubble wrap. And I always reuse the stuff that people send to me. All this stuff will be reused because I always do love to protect other people's stuff too. And I hope that when I send them stuff, they reuse it, reuse the uh, bubble wrap. So, okay, he's got them all individually wrapped here. And this is going to be hell to do this with one hand so I'm gonna to have to pause this okay guys looks like we have everything unwrapped here and let's get into this the first one he sent is uncharted 4 a thief's end which I do already own this one I'll probably give this to my brother and I have not even played it yet but I have played all of the previous games in the uncharted series and from what I heard this is going to be the last game with Nathan Drake as the lead character which would be a shame because this this is one of the uh, the best series the best franchises that PS4 has so the next one here is one I'm a little nervous to play to be honest with you I played the first Dark Souls which was actually called Demon Souls and that game was hard as hell man I, I think I broke a couple controllers throwing shit um, never played part two but I've heard really good things about part three. So, but I heard it's just as hard as as any of the uh, previous installments in the series. But some of these images and the graphics are just phenomenal. So, 
I don't know what I'm in for with this, but um, I might have to buy a couple more controllers. And the last one is a game I've never played before. I heard really good things about these, and I think my son would really like this. We can play this together. And this is Star Wars Battlefront, and it looks really cool. And the, the graphics on the back look phenomenal. I mean, it looks like you're watching a movie. So thank you very much for those, Alex. And I'm going to open up Dark Souls because he said he left a note in there or something from Welcome Matthewson. Oh, there you go. He sent me, uh, what is that, a 5 by 7 I think, of a picture of Welcome. And he's one of my favorite characters. I wish he would have signed it, but he didn't. Or did he? Oh, he did, yeah. Hey, Todd. Hope you like the baseball and movie. I don't like baseball, but I do go to my local team, the Biloxi Shuckers games, because the food is incredible. Seriously. On Thursdays, the hot dogs are two for one, and jalapenos are 100% free. I love jalapenos on anything, Alex. You're welcome. Um, I put it on hamburgers. I put it in my eggs when I fry up breakfast. I mean, jalapeno peppers are the bomb. Please enjoy Glenn Glary. Glen Gary Glen Ross, which is my favorite movie. I love that movie too. I don't have it on Blu-ray. Um, that movie has one of the best uh, best dialogue and some of the best one-liners you'll ever see in a movie. And he's talking about Glen, Ga Glen Gary Glen Ross, starring Pacino, um, Baldwin, Spacey, Harris, and Lemon. And these guys are realtors. And this is almost kind of like a gangster film in a way. Uh, these guys are cutthroat, and uh, Alec Baldwin's kind of like the lead, the lead uh, guy, whatever you want to call him. And ABC always be closing. Coffees for closers. What's your name? Fuck you. That's my name. Um, the guy who sells the most houses gets a set of steak knives. What does the second place winner get? He gets fired. Um, this movie is phenomenal. I did see this about three or four times. I've never had it on Blu-ray, so thank you, thank you very much for this. I haven't even thought about this movie in a while, but. Um, when I worked at a different place, there was about four of us, four guys that used to quote this movie to each other, and um, they all loved it. I love the movie, so this is going to be going in soon. I'm going to be revisiting this and uh, checking it out. Um, very, very good movie, so thank you for that, Alex. I really appreciate that. Now I feel like i got to send you something back. Not, not that I feel like I have to, but I feel like I want to send you something back for sending me this. And we're not done yet, though. He said he sent... This nice Ghostbusters sticker. Very cool. That is that's actually awesome. It's like a nice thick vinyl sticker. Nice quality. Wow. I I almost feel like just leaving it like this and hanging it up so I don't wreck it. Because once you stick it on something, it's pretty much done, right? But if you keep it sealed up like this, it's a collectible, you can show it to people. Very nice love it and I happen to be a big baseball fan myself welcome and Alex and Frenzy Poo um, never heard of the Biloxi Shuckers I know it sounds like it's a minor league team obviously um, I played baseball for many years even up to my early 20s I played and uh, I was a catcher and I really enjoyed the game but I had to give it up because I had to have responsibilities and get a job, got a car, had to pay for insurance and gas, and uh, it's still very special to me. I, I still love baseball. Um, shuckers, that, this is really nice. Beautiful little collectible. That's the little, it looks like a little clam. So yeah, they shuck clams, right? And uh, I really like the colors and, and the uh, texture of this ball. Minor League Baseball. Thank you very much. I still do have quite a few of my baseball trophies and some of the baseballs that I played with um, for some of my milestones when I was for, during my career. So I will be putting this in with some of my collectibles. I'll put it in by my trophies and all that stuff. And someday I'll show you guys that if you guys are even interested in that. But all right. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, Alex, for this beautiful trade package. This is really good. I think you it was kind of lopsided, though. You sent me way more than I sent to you. So I am going to try to put something together for you pretty soon here. 
And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to pause it here, though, like I said, and I'm going to just show you guys the VHS that uh, no one sent me yet. I got those in uh, cases now, so, and then we'll close it out. Okay, guys, I got to make this quick because I'm running out of battery, but these are the movies that are in the cases now, and they look really nice. And this is the edition I was telling you guys about. They call this the shadow cover, and then this is the original cover. And apparently this one is a little more rare than this one. This one is put out by... They're both put out by Paramount, but there was a... They called this something different. But anyway, that's the Friday the 13th collection that I have now in these plastic cases, and they look really nice. And you got to protect these investments, these collectibles like this. Once they're gone, they're gone. So, All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Leave any comments. If you haven't subbed, please feel free to do so. If you want to share, do that too. Everything helps me out. I really appreciate you guys watching. And have a good week. Later.